Hello, it's time once again for Uncle Jeff's Easy Peasy English. And today we're looking at words to join two contrasting ideas together. We're looking at although, however, and despite. Two ideas. The weather was very cold. We decided to go for a walk. So two different ideas. The weather was very cold. We decided to go for a walk. How can you join those two sentences together? Contrasting the two. You could use although. Although the weather was very cold, we decided to go for a walk. Although the weather was very cold, we decided to go for a walk. Two contrasting ideas joined together with although. Two sentences become one. When you're speaking, it's quite usual to use though instead of although. Although is lovely in writing and in formal situations, when you're speaking and informally, you can use though. Though the weather was very cold, we decided to go for a walk. If you want to keep two sentences, you can use however to contrast the two. For example, the weather was very cold. However, we decided to go for a walk. The weather was very cold, full stop. However, comma, we decided to go for a walk. Another way to contrast two ideas is to use despite. For example, despite the cold weather, we decided to go for a walk. Despite the cold weather, we decided to go for a walk. Despite the cold weather, comma, we decided to go for a walk. You could also use in spite of. In spite of the cold weather, in spite of the cold weather, we decided to go for a walk. So, contrasting two ideas using however, although, and despite, or in spite of. English grammar? Easy peasy. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time on Uncle Jeff's Easy Peasy English.